Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs and as a little bit of an afterthought I had the idea to give you in hindsight a uh, kind of introduction what is the intention behind our M-Show videos, what every maker should have one. Well, um, you probably know uh, David L. Jones' channel at the, over at the EAV blog and he's more on the uh, high-end side and many of um, the t measurement and test gear that he is uh, either taking apart or speaking about uh, it's uh, for most of us it's uh, unaffordable and so uh, let me go some years back when I was a boy um, there was really it was really difficult to get information about what are the best tools to use in the electronics lab and not only the best but the best ones that you can afford uh, when you are on a budget perhaps even on a shoestring budget and so we are a little bit of the opposite of what uh, David L. Jones does uh, we try to introduce you to um, affordable um, tools that will do the job uh, most of them very affordable and if we go sometimes a little bit on the more expensive um, side uh, then you can be sure that it will be uh, tools that are once in a lifetime um, purchases like for example this uh, wire cutting tool you can look up uh, the uh, video in our series about wire cutters and um, so all of the recommendations uh, we give is 99% uh, really measurement or test gear or mechanical tools that we really are using here in the lab. And of course there are always different opinions what is the best tool to do the job. Well anyway my uh, intention is what's good enough for us here at, at our daily uh, job uh, should be good enough uh, for you and it mustn't be professional uh, tools with professional high prices. Um, so we will um, not only uh, talk about uh, tools um, we will never talk about, as you could already see in our introduction, about uh, digital multimeters or uh, soldering stations or digital storage oscilloscopes. Uh, that's uh, simply because there's enough stuff at YouTube um, where you can make your own opinion about what's the best one for you and it's simply too much of them on the market. Um, so we will talk about uh, from little helpers like uh, what, are, what are good uh, tweezers to use at the electronics lab but we will also talk about um, software mostly freeware that every maker should know about or have one copy at your uh, PC and because most of our uh, maker community are also a little bit on the nerdy or geeky side we'll also sometimes talk about uh, what every nerd or electronics geek should have like my Nixie watch here or like this uh, if you're a Trekkie a Star Trek fan you will know this is um, from the Borg Alcoven, um, the regenerator for the Borg drones like 7 of 9 which many of you will know and uh, I, I don't know if we will put this into uh, our shop um, but anyway it will not only be about tools it will also be everything um, around the maker hobby of course concentrated on electronics so that as a little uh, introduction after I don't know 40 um, we have already around 40 um, video series uh, here at the M show what every maker should have one 
Um, but perhaps um, one of some of you have asked uh, well, now what is this all about? And um, uh, as a final sentence, if you follow this series um, and get one uh, of the uh, recommended parts, then in the end you will have a complete electronics lab um, with all the per parts that really uh, do the job that uh, many of them uh, are just from years of experience and years of trying out uh, different tools and finally settling onto one that really uh, makes uh, saves you time or uh, saves you effort and uh, uh, well um, that was it for today. I hope you liked it and um, uh, just expect some more of our video series about what every maker should have one of. That was it. Thanks for watching. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanka Labs.